Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to show you how to make this monster plant growing machine. You can see here a picture from last year, getting some good production out of those peppers. Anyway, you're going to need a Rubbermaid. I'm using a half inch spade drill bit. You need a lot of holes, uh, just like this. Then we're going to cut around to make the floor of the container just big enough to hang about four inches from the bottom uh, by the inside diameter. It should fit snugly. We can adjust the height later though. Okay, to save time I'm tracing around the outside of these solo cups, but you need the hole a little bit smaller than that so that the rim of the solo cup can rest in the hole. All right, we're going to do a test fit and um, check the height and then I'm going to mark where I need drill holes and these holes are going to be to feed through um, whatever those things are called zip ties and um, that's going to support the floor of this container I'm just going to go all the way around maybe three zip ties per side and I'm cutting holes in the solo cup just by slicing the edges and then slicing three or four vertical slits down the side. The soil is going to be in there and act as a wick to uh, pull moisture up into the rest of the container. Alright, so here we're going to test how much water it will hold. Uh, you can see this is too much water because it, it touched the uh, floor of the container. You want at least a half inch of of air underneath or your plant will drown. Um, you can go more than a half inch but you're wasting water reservoir space there. This step is really critical. Um, mark your water level where you have enough even when you press down on the bottom of the container you have enough uh, air under it. And then we're going to drill a hole in the side of the container get rid of this water first so that the bottom of the hole is where you, the water should start to leak out so it can't get any higher than that. Make sure it's the bottom of that hole. Alright, this is an improvement I'm going to make from last year. Um, I had a mosquito problem. They'd go in there and uh, make, a, make a mosquito population. So I put a, uh, a little mosquito net over there with some gasket. Gasket maker. Alright, now we're going to fill in the soil. I'm using ProMix this year. Um, I just used peat moss and um, perlite and vermiculite mixture last year and it worked fine. Uh, note that peat moss is very hydrophobic, so if you're doing this with just peat moss mix, make sure you add moisture as you do this or else it's going to be very hard to uh, wick the moisture up later. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fertilizer at the top here. Use whatever you want if you want to do this. A slow release. Osmocote would work fine. And actually this isn't really necessary because of the way we're going to be watering this. 100% uh, of the waterings will be with hydroponic solution. Alright, I built this little seed starting thing and uh, you can see I got a pepper plant ready to go here. This is a red bell pepper. Let's just dig this net pot out. That's just a little fountain running and the water just continuously drips back into the container with a pump. $5 pump from eBay. Okay, I had to uh, dig a little hole in here. And we're going to put the plant in. Try and get the roots as close to that bottom as possible. They're going to actually go down into the reservoir. And they can drink straight from the bottom. And we want a thick plastic cover here. This is 
uh, irrigation control. It's important that rainwater doesn't enter this because it would uh, it would knock all the soil down into the bottom chamber, ruining it. We saved our lid. And, um, you know, I didn't even, I think I skipped the part where we put that PVC pipe in. You cut a 45 degree angle, and then I just uh, put it through, all it goes all the way to the bottom and zip tied it to the side. We're mixing up our hydroponic solution here. I'll put the recipe for that in the description, but it's from uh, MHP Gardener, or MPH Gardener, I don't know, Bobby. And here's a little video of my plant from last year. You can see it is quite productive. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the project and uh, I'll help you out. Have fun. Have a good day.